be demonstrating how to tape an ankle. Uh, and for athletic trainers, this is kind of the, the gold standard skill. Uh, it's hard to uh, do the profession of athletic training without being very proficient um, and good uh, at this particular skill. Uh, as you begin to practice it, you'll notice that at the very beginning, it might seem pretty easy looking at on the video. Uh, however, once you get into it, you'll notice that it uh, becomes just a little bit more challenging to make sure that you do two things. One is that you do it effectively, but two, you actually do it quickly. Uh, when you're in the athletic training room and you have anywhere from uh, 30 to 40 uh, athletes that are waiting in line uh, for you to, be actually, to, for you to uh, do the ankle taping, uh, it's good to be able to kind of get this down into uh, not too terribly long. Uh, the standard checkoff time for this skill is three minutes. However, if you're taking three minutes for every single athlete that you're going to be working on, that's a little bit too long. So you really want to get it down into more of the minute range. Uh, it might take you quite a long time to get there, but with, uh, definitely with a lot of practice, um, it's uh, something that uh, certainly will come. Uh, the average time for me is probably around 40 seconds. Uh, so again, if you're, um, uh, when you're trying to do quite a few athletes, it's helpful to kind of get that um, in time. You can do the ankle taping for uh, two reasons. One, you can do it to prevent um, ankle sprains. So a lot of uh, individual athletes have no ankle problems whatsoever, but they want their ankles taped. Or you can do this in terms of uh, when they actually get, um, uh, their, um, get an ankle injury itself. You can help do this to get them in back um, and playing uh, quite a bit faster. Now there's all kinds of different techniques for doing ankle taping. If you go all over the internet um, on YouTube and a whole host of things, you can see different techniques. This is just the technique that uh, we've developed uh, for our particular program, and we found it to be very effective, uh, very comfortable uh, for the athlete. Uh, so many times we have visiting athletes that come and they see our ankle taping and they actually prefer it and like it to um, the one that um, they are normally used to. So we found it to be a very effective method. There are some additional techniques that you can apply uh, that makes this technique a little bit more advanced and secure. Uh, we won't demonstrate that here on this particular video, uh, but when we get into class and you're getting into your clinical placements, uh, you can ask athletic trainers to um, kind of demonstrate some of those advanced skills. Uh, but this is just what we call the standard ankle taping for anyone that had just either wants it uh, from a preventative standpoint or um, has an ongoing issue that they just want uh, daily ankle taping. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, tape the ankle. Uh, we're going to tape the ankle for a lateral ankle sprain, which is the most common uh, least sprained ankles that we're going to see. So we're really trying to protect the uh, lateral ankle ligaments around the outside of the lateral malleolus. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is make sure that our patient is uh, positioned in the uh, correct position to be able to do this. So we're going to be a nice relaxed position, uh, leg extended off the table and dorsiflexed, which is what we call a neutral position. Once they're done, we want to make sure that the area is prepped. Uh, ideally, what you would do is you would shave the ankle. Um, this allows you to secure uh, the tape directly to the skin uh, uh, without pulling the hair off once it's done. Uh, we are going to use some uh, uh, pre-wrap, uh, which will help um, kind of pull some of the hair off as well. Another thing that we can do is use what's called uh, uh, tape adherent or um, tough skin. This just gets sprayed on um, over the individual and it provides um, a much more tacky uh, surface for the tape and the pre-wrap uh, to adhere to. You want to make sure that you ask the athlete though if they want that used because uh, many people have um, allergic reaction to the spray and uh, so that becomes a little bit of a problem so we don't want to do that. Once he's sprayed, um, we're actually going to apply our uh, heel and lace pads. Um, so we've already pre-placed uh, um, a little bit of um, uh, skim lube on here so that actually, that actually it sticks um, onto the skin. So one pad goes directly over where the laces typically tie um, and the other one comes back behind over the Achilles tendon. Um, these are areas where the tape crosses in the front and the back and many times uh, um, creates a high friction area. So this just helps uh, protect the skin from any um, excessive blisters, uh, which is definitely something you want to avoid as much as possible when uh, taping the ankle. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply um, our pre-wrap. Uh, this just again 
provides um, uh, protection for the skin, especially if the athlete's going to be taping their ankle uh, day after day. Uh, sometimes the, the adhesive on the tape can really damage the skin. Uh, this just helps um, to make sure that that doesn't happen. If you don't need to use it, uh, that's actually much more of a secure ankle. So a lot of people actually choose not to use uh, the pre-wrap, um, but the majority of people actually do. Uh, everybody does this a little bit different, uh, so there's no right, necessarily right or wrong way in terms of where you start. Uh, I typically like to start down in the foot. Other people like to start up at the leg. Uh, like I said, it does not necessarily really matter. What matters is that it uh, doesn't really have any wrinkles in it, that's, so that's uh, very important. So what we're going to do is we're going to start at the base of the foot. I'm going to pull this around. And what you want to do is you want to pull it fairly secure and tight so as it goes around the foot it's laying nice and flat. Once I get secured around the foot I'm going to do what's called a figure eight pattern which means that instead of continuing to wrap around the, uh, the heel I'm actually going to come up just a little bit and make the, the number eight out of that pre-wrap. What that allows me to do is that allows me just to secure and go up the foot and sometimes you get into the situation where you know you need to go a little bit higher so you need to have the athlete scoot down just a little bit so that way we can get high enough up to where we need to be. So if you notice it's laying completely flat there's no wrinkles that way it's gonna make sure that when you apply the tape it doesn't get bunched up and again this is all just to help pr um, protect uh, the skin from any type of uh, damage, especially with repetitive taping over and over again. For this particular uh, ankle taping, we're going to use um, an inch and a half uh, linen tape. Uh, doesn't necessarily really matter which brand that you use. Um, you can use a two inch, um, you can even use a one inch, but an inch and a half is uh, the standard um, size uh, to be able to tape the ankle. The important thing is, is there's a number of steps and you want to follow the steps in the correct order uh, because this uh, allows for the most secure um, and most uh, functional taping. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to apply two anchor strips uh, directly onto the skin just above the pre-wrap, um, right uh, just at the base of the calf. So my first piece of tape is going to go directly onto the skin and what this allows is that every single piece that attaches onto there, it's got a firm anchor, which is why it's called an anchor. If you also notice that I didn't go just straight around um, the leg, and that piece is because the legs aren't a perfect cylinder. It's thicker on the top or a, high, a larger circumference um, up by the calf than it is farther down at the leg. So if I angle it back down, you'll notice that underneath here, it's going to lay directly um, uh, against the skin and again, not have any gaps. If I went straight around, that necessarily wouldn't be there and that would create, a, um, create some problems. So I'm going to apply a third anchor, but down towards the foot. I'm going to give myself about 12 inches of tape. And I want to kind of imagine that there's a midway point in that tape. And that goes directly down on top of the foot, just about at the base of where my heel and lace pad went. This then allows me to lightly place this strip down to the heel at an angle going posterior towards the heel. Here again, this allows that tape to lay flat directly against the skin. I'm going to tear the tape and place this down towards the heel. This is not a very tight piece. It lays just flat. The reason is, is that you've got a nerve that travels along the lateral malleolus and attaches onto the base of the fifth metatarsal. And if that piece of tape is too tight, it is very uncomfortable for the athlete when they're um, out playing. You always know you've placed that piece too tight is when the athlete is out running around, they come back to you and they ask for a scissors and they go and they put a cut right in the base of the tape right here to relieve that pressure. Uh, that is not necessarily good that they've done that because now the tape is not quite as secure and that becomes a little bit of a problem. So this piece does not have to be very tight. So then moving on, 
Because this is a lateral ankle sprain, we're going to pull the ankle from the medial side, wrap it around to the lateral side. So what we're going to do is we're going to do two what are called stirrups. Stirrups are you know, named after uh, riding a horse and putting your foot into a stirrup. So the piece of tape is secured on the medial side to those anchors. It comes down to the heel, wraps around to the outside, and I pull this to the lateral side and secure that piece of tape down. Now we're going to repeat this, but we're not necessarily going to go directly over it. We're going to overlap it by about half. So this piece is going to come a little bit more forward. And as I come around, you'll see that I've overlapped by about half. Again, securing that down and making sure that it covered the lateral malleolus just like that. A lot of people, when they come around, they bring this piece too far forward or too far back, and it doesn't provide an even amount of support. So you want to make sure that is done um, in, again, a, a very good stirrup. Some people like to secure those stirrups down with another piece of tape here by the anchor. I really don't like to do that because I don't want to have any particular piece of tape kind of continually wrapped over and over in the same place because that can create some problems. The next step in the process is to do what are called sixes. I'm going to use a piece of uh, blue tape here just to show you the angle of it so you can see what that looks like even though this isn't really how it's going to be secured down. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start again on the medial side I'm going to take this tape and I'm going to wrap it around and end right where that, um, right where that uh, medial stirrup is. Now, if I had started on the other side, it would have made a, made a six. This is actually a reverse six, but you can actually see um, how that um, pattern goes. And what this does is this, again, pulls it to the lateral side and then it secures it kind of up and in, which is uh, a protective piece that we want. So to get this angle right, we're not going to go really up and down. We're going to angle it back a little bit, and you'll be able to see it on the other side. But as I come around, again, you don't want to catch that fifth metatarsal, but you just want to come and curve and bring this to that medial anchor and secure it down. So we'll see that on the lateral side, because we're going to do one on each side. So you see I don't go straight up and down. I angle it back, come across the lateral malleolus, loop this around the top, rip it, and secure it to that lateral stirrup. And some people call these X strips, because when you're done, you've created a little nice X right over um, uh, that heel and lace pads, but I like to use the I like to use the sixes because that's the the number that it's going to do. And this helps differentiate between a figure eight, which we're not really going to demonstrate in this, but it is a technique that you can do as well um, in terms of uh, taping. The next strips are called heel locks. I, again, I'm going to start on the inside because every piece that I pull first, I want to pull to the lateral side. This time I'm going to start right where X marks the spot. So right at the tip of the X, I'm going to come down to the heel, but instead of coming up, I'm going to wrap around the back side of the heel and secure that up onto the top, right where that anchor is. This one you'll see a little bit better on this side. Start at the base where the X marks the spot is. I come down to the heel. Now I curve back around and allow that to secure up to the top, just like that. This piece is the hardest piece to not have any wrinkles. So it definitely takes some practice to be able to do that well. Last but not least, I'm going to secure everything down. Now all the pieces are in place to uh, secure the ankle. This just covers everything up. That way I don't, uh, um, uh, these pieces don't come flying off. Uh, when they put their sock on, it stays in place. But for the most 
for in terms of security, everything is where it needs to be. So now I'm just going to go right over the top, overlapping by half, trying to not get any wrinkles. You can see again, these pieces are going down. As I move down, I need to change my angle a little bit because there is a point in time where it is a fairly good cylinder around. Then what I'm going to do is instead of angling the tape kind of more in a downward direction, I'm going to angle it actually in a upward direction. Here again, this allows me to apply these pieces and not have any significant wrinkles in the back. I place this piece around one last piece to cover. And you can see that no wrinkles going all the way down. I haven't really secured anything over the heel. That's fine. One last piece directly over the first anchor, just to make sure those ends don't come pulling up. And once I'm done, I just want to take my hands, rub it over the top. The reason that I do this is that the adhesive is heat activated. So by rubbing it, it creates a higher temperature, which makes sure that everything is much more secure. Once he's done, again, check for circulation, have him get up and hop around, and make sure that it feels nice and secure, and um, uh, we're good to go. Now, after the athlete is done participating, we can use what's called a tape cutter uh, to be able to uh, cut the ankle tape off. The way that we want to do this is we're just going to slide the cutter underneath the ankle, the tape, come down around the back side of the malleolus, curve around to the front, and nice and easy, pull that tape off, and this can just go in the garbage.